Hey, in this interview, you're gonna hear from my good friend, Kylie Fitz. My brother just got done retiring from the National Football League, the NFL, went to Utah, goes to the NFL, the Bears, the Cardinals. This interview is a must watch. Make sure you watch the full episode. Let's head over. You hit like a kind of a lower point, right, in your career. What's going on in your head to like actually keep going? Yeah, um, it's just a lot of fear of failure, I would say. Like, oh, you failed. Um, and yeah. and then that, that belief being put on me, like, oh, you can't make it. And so you only made it one year. Bears released to you. Um, and just kind of feeling that defeat of failure. And um, it really wasn't until, like, my, I called my dad, let him know. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I want to keep playing. Um, don't have that passion anymore. And because failure would do that to you. I mean. You could sure. be motivated and, and going, and then all it takes is that fail. Um, someone saying no, someone breaking yep. up, um, a bad business deal, and then you're just like, "Man, do I really want to do this?" Yeah. And um, it really takes a team. Um, and my dad, my my wife, um, kind of just helped me get through that. Um, and then I started finding my faith, and um, that has been my biggest thing. Um, God came into my life and kind of gave me that purpose again. So Arizona, so they released me the next day, Arizona calls, say, we want you. Um, so I was like, man, well, um, let's go. yeah, I was excited, blessed. And I was like, all right. Cause I mean, I grew up on the West coast, Arizona yeah. is pretty close to home. And, uh, the weather out here, the, that Chicago weather, then negative, it was like negative <laughs> playing games and negative you know, five degrees. I got yeah. in and I, well, I had to get out of that place. I had some deep, deep pizza after the event and left. Yeah. Um, not yeah, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it was tough. So yeah, I uh, got that new chance in Arizona and, and came out here and started thriving again. The, the fresh weather, um, yep. new team, new start. Um, and then found a, a good church out here that kind of grew me spiritually yeah. at the same time yeah. that, that helped me so much through. And, and even here, I mean, I started good and then, injuries again and started coming up again and, and kept fighting through that another broken arm broken hand and um, but kept coming back and and fighting through that adversity because i was used to it i mean i've gone through so many yeah. failures um those last four or five years and i was like oh it's just just another roadblock you kind of get used to that you're like all right you start building that resilience to keep breaking through those um hey, those barriers and stuff and so Pretty incredible interview, right? So if you want full access to all of my podcasts, the DeFi, the odds newsletter, it is a must have. We're talking crypto. We're talking entrepreneurship. I'm bringing you uh, real people every other week that have literally defied the odds, just like Kylie uh, here in this interview. Head down below, go to DeFiNewsletter.com, get access. The link is in the bio. The link is in the description. Now let's head back into the interview. See you there. Yeah, I've kind of played, so played for it or three years here. Um, and then the last 20, 2021 already had five concussions and we yeah. go into uh, Cleveland, uh, towards the end of the season and, I, and I'm playing good. I'm starting to play a lot. Um, and second quarter, um, take a blow to the head. I knew I had another concussion, but I wasn't telling anyone. I was like, all wow. right. This is six concussion. If you tell me one, they're going to pull you out. And I was like, nope, let's keep playing. And I was the biggest mistake I could have made because third quarter um, happens again. The tight end comes across. Wow. I'm going full speed at him and, and the lights went off. Um, next thing I know, I was, I was on a, a stretcher and being carried off to the ambulance. Had no function of, of my body. Um, can it, could barely think the only thought that I was like in my head, cause I can't speak. I was hyperventilating, um, when I kind of came back into it and all I thought was like, am I about to become a vegetable? Cause like I had no brain function. Yeah. Like I couldn't think normal. Um, and in that ambulance, I was just praying to God that just helped me get through this. And I uh, got to the hospital, sent the night over at the hospital there and kind of got my vitals back and kind of after some medications and stuff, kind of got me back to a normal state of mind. And it was pretty much at that point where I woke up that next morning and I was like, 
I'm sitting here in the hospital with my sixth concussion and, and a lot of research coming up about CTE. I had the girls, the twins being due in a month. So I had to make the ultimate decision um, to, to hang it up. And so I wanted to be there for my family down the line and, and not have to deal with um, a lot of those long-term um, problems that come with CTE and concussions that you're starting to see come out more and more. So ultimately it was, it was the best decision I think for me and my family and of course, and now, now I get to, I'm excited to kind of break into that new, um, competition of entrepreneurship and, and getting my business yeah. started and being a family man. So I'm, I'm blessed, man. I, it's a I sport, bro. Entrepreneurship yeah. is a sport.